Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to show you how to remove a load from your side lock muzzleloader. On occasion, you go out into the woods hunting or you're shooting at the range and you have to leave immediately or you have to get out of the woods early and you don't get a chance to clear the load out of your barrel. In order to unload a side lock muzzleloader, stop what you're doing immediately, point your gun in a safe direction, and immediately deprime your gun. In the case of a percussion model, be sure to remove the number 11 cap from the nipple. If you have a flint lock, rotate your frizzen forward, exposing your flash pan, and discard any 4F powder that may still be in that flash pan. This just helps to ensure that your gun won't fire on you by accident. At the same time, make sure that your hammer is rotated to the captive half cock position. What this does is arrest the trigger where if the trigger is encountered on any snags, branches, anything like that, it won't allow the hammer to fall forward. With your gun at captive half cock position, go ahead and disassemble your rifle. Please see our videos on percussion or flintlock disassembly, depending on the model that you have. And remove your barrel from the stock, lay your stock and lock off to one side. You're basically just going to need your barrel to unload this gun at this point. The next step is to make sure that both your nipple and bolster drum cleanout screw have been removed on a percussion model and that your flash hole liner has been removed out of a flint lock. If you have a standard PA pellet model, the PA pellet model has an accelerator breech plug that removes from the rear. This allows you to clear the load straight out just like a brake action muzzle loader. In these two traditional models, the breech plug is permanent and cannot be removed. So everything you do in order to unload this is going to have to be from the muzzle. In order to begin that process, once you've cleared out your flash hole liner or your nipple and bolster cleanout screw holes, take your cleaning rod and remove your jag. And you're going to switch over to our ball puller jag. This is just a wood screw shank with a shoulder that can align it onto your cleaning rod and allow you to get in there and penetrate into the bullet and let it dig in so you're able to pull your bullet out through the front of the muzzle. In order to assist that process, traditions make several gun lubes and solvents that can help break up any fouling that's in there that could cause resistance on the bullet as it's coming out. The other thing you can do is if you've been shooting the gun a lot, is let the barrel soak for about half an hour to an hour in warm soapy water. That'll help break up any components inside the lands and grooves of the rifling and allow that bullet to come out a little bit easier. One other alternative you can use is a deep penetrant. And these are found at hardware stores, automotive stores. You can use this and let that sit in the bore for a little while and it will help break up anything in and around that bullet and patch area to help it break loose and come out the front of your muzzle. Once that's complete, you can use your ball pulling jag on the end of your cleaning rod, run it down the bore, so I'm going to switch over to this for illustration. Run this down the bore with the jag. And with this threaded end, slowly twist it clockwise into that soft lead bullet. And make sure that it digs in. If you need some assistance, you can give it a little tap with a nylon hammer just to let it dig in a little bit more. And once you get a, a good two or three rotations into that bullet, you can start to begin to withdraw it out the front of the muzzle. By the time it comes out, you should have something that looks like this. This has been removed from a percussion side lock muzzle loader in our gun shop. And you can see the threaded extension into the, the ball here that's gone in about three rotations. If it pops loose from the ball, go back in, dig it in again, keep pulling it. The ball may break into a couple pieces, that's okay. You can remove it piece by piece by that point. The key thing is to just get that load out of the gun. If you have a patch and or powder still left in the gun once the ball's been removed, transition over to one of our patch pullers, which is this small jag here, and it just has two wires. And as you mount that into your cleaning rod, simply remove the jag off your cleaning rod and or your ball pulling jag. Transition over to this and just feed it down the muzzle of your gun and rotate it clockwise. And these wires will help dig into a shooting patch or a cleaning patch and remove that from the barrel. 
From that point, if you have penetrating oil, soapy water, anything in the muzzle, it should have helped neutralize the powder where it won't ignite. That will assist you in cleaning and getting the powder out of your barrel. You can transition over at this point to standard field cleaning of your gun, going to saturated patches, a 50 cal bore brush, and dry patches to clean out your barrel. Once you're absolutely completely done cleaning, always be sure to remount your loading jag onto your ramrod and run your ramrod down the bore to the hash mark on the muzzle to ensure that your rifle is completely unloaded. Your final step in making sure that you've completely unloaded and cleaned your rifle is to come back to your breech area and scrub out the nipple, bolster drum screw areas, or if you have a flintlock, cleaning out your communication hole here where the flash hole liner would be. At this point, you can put your gun back together and go back to shooting. Please see our videos on cleaning percussion side lock muzzle loaders and flintlock muzzle loaders, as well as reassembly videos for any questions you might have.